Installing the Kohler Truss Bath and Shower Faucet This video will demonstrate the installation of the bath and shower trim. A video that demonstrates the installation of the valve is also available. For the installation, you will need the following tools and materials. Sealant tape, sealant, 1 8 inch hex wrench, measuring tape, rags, strap wrench, assorted screwdrivers, emery paper. Observe all local plumbing and building codes. Warning, risk of scalding. High water temperature can cause severe burns. Set the water temperature at or below 120 degrees Fahrenheit by following the adjustment procedure in the installation instructions packed with the valve. Start by installing the tube for the bath spout so it extends between 4 and 3 8 inches and 4 and 5 8 inches from the finished wall. Use emery paper to remove any burrs. Clean up debris. Loosen the set screw on the spout. Do not remove the set screw. Slide the spout onto the tube. Tighten the set screw to secure. Apply sealant around the spout, leaving a gap at the bottom. Wipe away any excess sealant. Slide the wall plate onto the shower arm. Apply sealant tape to the threads of the shower arm. Thread the shower arm into the elbow. If needed, use a strap wrench to tighten. Slide the plate against the wall. Using the plaster guard as a handle, turn on the water. To adjust the maximum water temperature, refer to the installation instructions packed with the valve. Turn off the water. Remove the plaster guard. Measure the distance from the finished wall to the end of the valve stem. If the distance is between 1 and 5 16 inches and 1 and 13 16 inches, use the shorter end of the reversible adapter. If the distance is between 1 and 9 16 inches and 2 and 1 16 inches, use the longer end of the reversible adapter. Make sure the valve is closed. Fit the reversible adapter onto the valve stem. Make sure the adapter is level. If the adapter is not level, remove the adapter and rotate it in 90 degree increments until level. Secure the reversible adapter to the valve with the short screw. Make sure that the foam gasket is installed to the back of the faceplate. Position the faceplate over the valve with the notch oriented down. Point the handle down and hold it in place while securely hand tightening the bonnet to the valve. Turn on the water and run water through the shower arm to remove any debris. Apply sealant tape to the shower arm and install the shower head. If needed, use a strap wrench to tighten. Turn on the water. Check all connections for leaks.